Hello everybody and welcome back to the Fortress of Solitude. This week we're checking out Superman Lost Issue 6 by Christopher Priest and Carlo Pagalayan. Priest takes the series into even more interesting and weird territory as Superman continues to try and help the people of Kansas with hope. The Green Lantern he has become trapped on this planet with and the person who last issue was revealed to be a little bit unstable as she killed Clark's alien friend Jemmy for finding a way to send Clark home. Priest instead jumps the book 10 years into the future which is quite a strange way to begin a story and focuses on Clark's never-ending battle to save the people of Kansas from certain death and how everything seems to be against him including the people themselves something we've seen Priest build up over the last couple of issues as we got to explore a bit more of Kansas and the warring states of the zealots and the republic and everything else on the world. It's a true testament to who Superman is that the character refuses to give up on the people People, even when everyone including these people is telling him to give up. It also leads to some really interesting developments to the story where thanks to the people and world leaders being so ingrained in their ways and not wanting outside help they actually end up uniting together against Superman. Not to kill him or anything but just to get him off the world and out of their affairs. It's such an interesting swerve in the story which could have gone the very predictable route of Clark having to battle some sort of warrior or champion or army that the world has put together against him but pitting him against something so much bigger than himself and something that he can't actually attack head on is really interesting and forces the character to try other methods. I did think however it was strange that we hadn't been really introduced to the other states of this world. We just kind of dropped right into the middle of it and here we actually get to see some of the northerner states uh, which are very much a viking like stake ruled by this warrior king who he feels very much like a Thor character. He's got a big beard. He, he's he's fighting giant monsters and everything. But it's very strange that we just kind of got dropped into them and not have them explained to us a little bit more. Since it felt so weird just seeing all these characters that we had not seen before just make an appearance suddenly. Carlo Pagalayan's artwork continues to be a great boon for the series. His clean and sure line work make the action hard hitting and the pacing of the story works very well with it. I've really been enjoying the use of color and Clark's stark white solar suit against the dreary backgrounds of Newark and Kansas. It helps stand the hero out a little bit more and helps feed into the whole story of him being an unwanted alien in a foreign world and him being something that is totally against everything that these worlds stand for. At this point Clark also learns what Hope really is and what she did to Jemmy which actually surprised me being that we just got that development at the end of the last issue that was sort of the big cliffhanger of the last issue and instead of starting the story here in this issue we kind of have to wait a little bit into the issue before it's brought up and even when it's brought up it's done in a slightly strange way in that it's alluded to that Clark maybe even knew that Hope did kill Jimmy or at least knew about him dying in a way other than what she said and he did nothing about it and I do think that's quite a weird way to present it but I like how Priest gave Superman a way to talk about it and how he takes the character into a place where he realizes that he has become so self-absorbed in saving these people and being there for them and having to be on the planet to save them that he hasn't realized that maybe taking himself out of the equation is what will save them. And at least to Superman actually deciding that he will leave this planet and go and get help from the Green Lantern Corps and the Justice League and everyone else and then come back and help them since he will have time. This of course sets Hope off because she doesn't want Superman to leave and to be alone again and it's actually interesting to see Priest dive into this because he doesn't just make her the villain of the book she doesn't just become the you know mustache twirling villain of the book we actually get to see a little bit of why she did what she did and find out that it was really out of desperation and fear of being alone again after so long and then what happens when you give this emotionally compromised person a power ring of course something bad is going to happen the way Clark ends up defeating her by exploiting the older power ring Ring's weakness for the color yellow is genius and it's a great use of his cape, something which Priest has been using quite a bit throughout the story, giving it a rather unique sentimental value to Clark and what it means to him 
system and how he's using it as a bit of a security blanket out in deep space. In a very Superman way too, he wants to give Hope another chance and leaves her with the old ring to protect the people while he leaves. But like much of Clark's luck throughout this book, we learn that the ship he was supposed to get home in wasn't really designed correctly and he was thrown almost powerless into a black hole. But still, he wants to travel through this black hole even without his powers and it's not until then that he sees a future version of himself who tries to stop him from doing it since it'll kill everyone and it's then he realizes that he's done something really wrong. It's an exciting if a little overdone trope you know the future past version of a main character or characters coming back in time or forward in time with a warning for the third act but I'm looking forward to finding out what this means for Clark and his time on the planet Kansas since obviously he's going to have to go back there so I'm intrigued to see what that means for him and Hope and how Hope is going to take this news. Priest continues to deliver some fantastic twists and turns to his Superman space adventure, diving a little further into Clark's drive and need to save the people and how no matter what, even if it costs him years of his own life, he'll always do the right thing. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10, so give it a go if you haven't since I think it's only going to get better from here on out.